Hi friends, welcome to the business studies class. Today in this module, we are going to learn about the term dividend decisions. The final decision is related with the distribution of dividend. Dividend is that portion of profit which is distributed to shareholders. This decision involves how much of profit earned by the company should be distributed to the shareholders and how much of it should be retained in the business for meeting the investment requirement. The decisions regarding dividend should be taken keeping point of view of overall objectives of maximizing shareholders funds. The dividend decision is one of the crucial decision made by the finance manager relating to the payouts to the shareholders. The payout is the proportion of earning per share given to the shareholders in the form of dividends. Now we are going to learn about the important factors which affects the dividend decisions of the company. The important factors which affects the dividend decisions of the company are the amount of earnings, stability in earnings, stability of dividend, growth opportunities, cash flow position, shareholders preference, taxation policy and stock market reactions. Now we are going to study these topics in detail. First point is stability of earnings. If a company has stable earnings, it will provide high dividend to its employees. If not, then would like to pay less dividends. Second point is stability of earnings. A company having higher and stable earnings can declare higher dividends than a company with lower and unstable earnings. Dividends are paid out current and past earnings. Therefore, earning is a major factor of decision about the dividend. The next point is stability of dividends. Generally, companies try to stabilize dividends per share. A steady dividend is given each year. A change is only made if the company's earning potential has gone up and not just the earnings of the current year. Next point is growth opportunities. Companies having good growth opportunities retain money more money out of their earnings so as to finance the required investment the dividend declared in growth in size therefore smaller than that in the non-growth companies next point is cash flow position dividend involves an outflow of cash availability of enough cash is necessary for payment or declaration of dividends Next point is shareholders preference. When declaring dividends, management must keep in mind the preference of the shareholders. Some shareholders and general deserve that at least a certain amount is paid as dividend. The company should consider the preference of such shareholders. Next policy is taxation policy. If the tax on dividend is higher, it is better to pay less by way of dividends. But if the tax rates are lower, higher dividends may be declared. This is because as per the current taxation policy, a dividend distribution tax is level on companies. However, shareholders prefer higher dividends as dividends are tax-free in the hands of the shareholders. Then another point is stock market reactions. Generally, an increase in the dividend has a positive impact on stock market whereas a decrease or no increase may have a negative impact on stock market. Thus, while deciding on dividends, this should be kept in mind. Then last next point is legal constraints. Certain provisions of the companies have place restriction on payout as dividend. Such provisions must be adhered to while calculating the dividend. Then the last point is contractual constraints. While granting loans to a company, sometimes the lender may impose certain restrictions 
on the payment of dividend in future. The companies are required to ensure that the dividend payout does not violate the terms of the loan agreement in this regard. Then the last point is growth opportunities. Companies having good growth opportunity retain more money out of their earnings so as to financial the required investment. The dividend in growth companies is therefore smaller than the non-growth companies. Cash flow position, growth opportunities, stability of dividends, earnings, stability of earnings. These are the important factors which affects the dividend decisions of the company. Thank you.